guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here in today's video I'm gonna be taking you along and showing you how I declutter and organize my bathroom closet as you remember from my first video the clean my bathroom with me you know my closet was a complete mess and just utter chaos so I decided to reorganize it get rid of some things that I don't need and just tidy it up so it's organized for me so I hope you guys like today's video and if you do, I would love it if you would subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. This is the closet before I started organizing it and as you can tell, it's a complete mess. It's so disorganized, I can't even stand looking at it. Things are in random places and there's just no order in here. and. I have been just throwing things in here that I can't find any place else for. So yeah, it definitely needed some system. I'm first starting out by throwing this laundry in the washing machine and I did not show that. Starting off by taking everything out on the top shelf, well not everything, there's a lot of appliances up here like that Bitsili maker and there's a food processor or a deep fryer so I'm not taking those out, there's really no need to, but I'm just taking everything out of here and there were just random things in here so I wanted to take everything out and organize it and that paper fell on my face and I thought you guys would enjoy that freeze frame. So yeah, I'm just taking everything out right now. some Ziploc baggies and I'm going to be putting the vacuum bags in the Ziploc baggies just because the bags were open in random places and everything kept falling out. So I'm just putting those in there. organizing these plastic tablecloths. We have a ton of them, so I'm just taking them out of that bag and I'm refolding them and putting them in new baggies. Now I'm taking these shelf liners and I'm attempting to put an elastic around them and I struggled a bit, but I managed to get it. I wanted to do this so they weren't rolling around in the closet. Now I'm putting everything back in the top shelf and just organizing it a little bit better. And I'm sorry, my camera cut out for some reason. I don't know why it stopped recording. I use an iPhone to record. I don't know why it did that, but I'm sorry guys. So I lost that footage, but basically I just threw everything in the top shelf and organize it a little bit better than it was before. Taking everything out of the third shelf and I'm leaving the towels in there because we had organized those a couple years ago and this system just works for us. So I'm not taking all those out because I don't need to. So I'm just leaving those in there. I'm just going through everything that I took out of the closet on the shelf and seeing what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of and I like to use the KonMari method for a lot of this and keep what sparks me joy and what I actually use so I'm not spending more than a minute on determining whether I want to keep it or get rid of it. I'm using this container as a beach supply container so there's a lot of sunscreen, aloe, lotion, and that little pink bag I like to use if I go to the beach or a water park or anything. So I'm just putting everything in there and I actually wrote it on a post-it note that says beach supply. Onto the next shelf like I did before, I'm just taking everything out of it so I can see what I have and that way I can go through everything. 
like the towels, I'm leaving the sheets in here because these are organized as best as they can and I'm not taking everything out and folding them. We also have our bathing suits in here and just some random towels and my lunchbox, so I'm taking all of those out. I'm folding these towels and just putting them up in the shelf above where they belong. I didn't have extra containers so I'm just using this random box that I found in my basement and I'm putting everything in here and this one is a lot of soaps and just lotions and stuff like that so I figured this box would be perfect. And again, I'm writing what's in the box on a post-it note, that way my boyfriend can know and he'll be able to find whatever he's looking for. I'm leaving these towels as they are, but I'm taking other things in here that don't belong and just taking those out so I can organize them. And now I'm on to the bottom shelf and I'm just taking mostly everything out. I'm not going to overload myself with taking everything out and I'm just going to go through everything and organize them. In this little container there were some travel toothpaste so I just saved which ones I wanted to keep. And that bin will be used for anything teeth related. this shoe box in the closet but I'm just going through it and taking a lot of things out and organizing it way better and getting rid of anything that I don't use or need. Now I'm taking this box and I'm organizing my hair products. And again, I'm writing what's in the box on a post-it note. This container I'm gonna be using for medical things mostly like first aid things. Now I'm taking the rest of everything that is on that bottom shelf out and I'm just gonna go through everything as you can tell this container has a bunch of things that need to be organized and I was a bit confused on how I wanted to organize them but right now I'm going through all of the things that are in here and checking the expiration dates and making sure they aren't expired and if they are I'm just tossing those. I do not want to keep anything that's expired. I'd rather just buy new things and like I said I was confused on how to organize this so at the end I took some things out that I didn't want to keep in there and I just wanted to see if anybody else needed them. Just a quick travel tip for me, I don't know if you guys saw earlier in this clip the little travel shampoo, conditioner, and soap bottles, but I use those all the time when I travel. I've been on two cruises and I use them and I also use them when I went to California. This container just has a lot of random things in here. I'm going through whatever is left in the bottom shelf and I found more tablecloths but I'm not putting those back up on the top shelf, that was a struggle. But there's just some random things in here that I'm just going to keep in here. The finished dishwasher things, there's ant things, so I'm just leaving everything in here but organizing it a little bit better than it was. Now I'm putting everything back in the bottom shelf. I'm putting 
put in what we use most in the front, so the mouthwash, the floss, the makeup removers, the crest white strips, the method foaming bathroom cleaner, and I'm putting my shower caps in this little container. I threw a lot of things on the floor, so I'm just putting the trash in this bag so I can throw it away easily. And as you can tell, there are a lot of things that I tossed, a lot of expired things and new things that I didn't want to keep. And now I'm folding the random towels that were in there, and I'll be organizing the bathing suits and putting those back as well. This bathing suit is just the cutest. It has corgis on it, and my boyfriend got it at Target for our cruise, and everybody on the cruise loved it, and when I saw this bathing suit, I was like, you have to get this. Corgis are one of my favorite dogs ever. onto the complete bottom of the closet and this was just the most disgusting part ever everything was very dusty in here so i made sure to wear gloves and i also put on a mask later on in the video and i'm just taking everything out and cleaning up as i go along The last three things in here were pretty dusty, so I put on my mask, and I'm just trying to dust these last three things as best as I can. I'm not going to get all the dust off, it's just too hard. And these three things actually go to our vacuum, so we don't really use them that often, so that's why they are so dusty. I had to stop and actually sweep everything up with the broom before I could even move on to finish this part of the closet because it was just so dusty as you can see that pile is just disgusting and that wasn't even everything. Again, I'm sweeping everything up and you will see that this just creates another big pile. Now I'm going in with my Swiffer Sweeper Wet pads and I'm just washing the floor. As you can tell, the floor was gross, so I hope that was satisfying to watch, and now I'm just putting everything back in the bottom of the closet. The laundry is washed and dried, so now I'm just folding the towels
If you're enjoying my video so far, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a like and subscribe to my channel so I know that you guys would like to see more content from me in the future. Finally, I'm just putting all the folded towels back in the closet. This is what it looks like after I organized everything. As you can tell, it looks 10 times better. Everything is more organized and in its right spot. And I liked how I used the boxes and the containers to separate each different type of thing into categories. And there is no more dust on the bottom and it looks clean and I could not be happier. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope you guys liked it and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.